Hey everyone, welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel. Cheaters Camp Style. After hours over at Carl's Jr. because it looks like they've upgraded a few of their burgers with some awesome 100% Angus beef action. And you better believe we're taking a look at one of them. So stay tuned because the guacamole bacon Angus burger is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. It's flavor lit by fire here at Carl's Jr. After hours with their guacamole bacon Angus burger. And already we are in for one messy situation here, guys. Take a look at all that guacamole falling off the front of this one here in the front. It looks really, really awesome. Let's pop the top of this potato bun and see what we've got underneath it. And actually it looks like a decent amount of that Santa Fe sauce. That orange sauce is all across the top. And as you can see, it dovetails right into all the guacamole underneath it. And guys, there is a decent amount of that guacamole as well. We've got two strips of bacon mixed in with some pepper jack cheese on top of it, guys. And again, a very messy situation of goodness. And that's all sitting on top of a third pound charbroiled Angus beef patty, 100%. And I got to say, it is very sizable here for sure. And as usual, I'm definitely digging those grill marks for this one here. And on the very bottom, it looks like we've got the usual lettuce, tomato, and red onion. And underneath that, even more of the Santa Fe sauce. But guys, lots of goodness here. There is a massive ingredients list with this one. And I got to say, it's looking pretty tasty. So let's see if I can confirm the awesomeness for you flavor-wise. This is the all-new guacamole bacon Angus burger here at Carl's Jr. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, definitely a messy situation. They pretty much threw everything but the kitchen sink at this one, guys. Look at all of those ingredients along with that Angus beef patty that's buried in there. And I gotta say, it is pretty awesome, especially with this potato bun on top of it. Very excited to do this, especially after hours. So, without further ado, let's do just that. It's the all-new guacamole bacon Angus burger here at Carl's. Let's hit it. Mmm. Well, it's not just a messy situation, it's an ultra creamy situation on top of it. And you'd kind of expect that with the amount of guacamole that's on this, guys. But actually, when that's blending with the Santa Fe sauce, it's giving a little bit of sizzle to it on top of it. So that flavor is beautiful. A little bit of an elevated spice that I'm getting on top of the creaminess of the guac. But guys, then right into that Angus beef patty action, and then some of the hickory smoke of the bacon. Pretty lovely situation. Let's go for another bite. We'll give you some close-ups. This is pretty delicious. Well, I gotta say, I'm really digging the way the smokiness of that bacon is really adding to the overall flavor of this one, guys. That Angus beef is really shining through as well. That quality is really, really on display with this one here. And all of the condiments around it are really lighting up beautifully. Again, I just wish the bacon was a little bit crispier, but guys, super flavorful so far. And the main reason for that is easily gonna be the guacamole and that Santa Fe sauce along with the bacon because that's really the dominant flavors that I'm getting here. And then the beef comes in right away, right after that. And guys, the quality again, very, very nice over here at Carl's Jr. Similar to Hardy's if you guys have that in your area. This is really, really delicious. I only wish I can taste the cheese, but again, it's kind of the placeholder to hold all this together. But considering how much guacamole and everything that's on this right now, I don't really mind that it's kind of blending in with everything, guys, because the flavor of those other ingredients are taking this one to new heights right now. Let's go in for another couple of bites, guys. Pretty tasty. Well, I gotta say, this is easily turning into one of the times where I'm glad there are so many condiments on this burger right now because it's really helping to mask the tomatoes in the very bottom of this. I can kind of taste them trying to come through, but the dominant flavors of the guacamole and the Santa Fe sauce, the smokiness of the bacon, it's doing a beautiful job of masking the situation that I have in front of me here right now. And guys, honestly, I am so impressed with the size of the burger. Considering the price point of this one, a little over $9, very, very expensive for this. But again, the quality is pretty banging. And while I am a fan of the guacamole, even if I wasn't, there is a jalapeno and an original variant on the menu that you can also go with as well. But guys, the quality of the meat alone is the main showpiece for this one on top of the guacamole variant that I'm having right now. Guys, just super delicious all around. And that obviously includes this oversized potato bun, which is actually, I think, a first. I don't think I've ever really had a potato bun over here at Carl's Jr. that I can remember, being that I've done so many reviews here. But guys, a lovely situation on this one. I'm super glad to be giving this one a shot after hours. And hey, it's a really delicious bacon cheeseburger after hours from Carl's Jr. How bad could that really be, right? One more bite and we'll close this one up after the rating, guys. Pretty delicious. So as you can see, that tomato hanging off the end over there is no match for the guacamole and Santa Fe combo when it comes to the flavor on this one, guys. And as you can see here, a lovely situation of goodness without a doubt on this one here. I'm really digging the quality of the flavors on this one. And the guacamole makes a huge difference along with the Santa Fe sauce and the smokiness of the bacon to go with. Dovetailing right into all the little crunchies of the onions on the bottom, the lettuce, and everything else on this one here, aside from the pepper jack cheese. But even still, this is a super delicious cheeseburger. Very, very nice. A super delicious bacon cheeseburger. We can't forget about the bacon. This is pretty awesome on this one. So overall, I'm gonna have to give the guacamole bacon Angus burger here at Carl's Jr. a pretty solid eight out of 10. And the only reason I'm not going much higher than that is the price point, guys. I mean, it almost $9 or a little over in my case. It's very, very expensive. And considering what it is, I know it's a delicious burger and all the quality is high, 
But when you're getting close to the double digits for a burger without a drink and without fries, come on, I mean, that's a little bit up there, right? And hey, I know I live in Southern Cali where the national average for most fast food items tends to skew a little bit higher than normal, but even still, $10 pretty much close to that with tax. I gotta say guys, I feel just a little bit taken advantage of, even though it was a pretty delicious burger, but even still, what are you gonna do? Well, actually, what I'm gonna do is ask you if you're gonna be giving this one a shot. If you've got Carl's Jr. in the area, drop some comments down below. Are you gonna be giving this one a go? And if you've got Hardee's in the area, do they even have this on the menu over there for you guys? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, Cheaters Cam Style. After hours, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's still flavor lit by fire, but it is coming at a little bit of a higher price these days. Just saying. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.